Sorry about the little interruption in our commentary. We also have now Stu joining us. Yeah, how are you doing? It's uh, good, to be, uh, good to be a guest in the House of 3000. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen actually Frozen pull out the Byleth um, instead of either Palutena or Peach against Senji. A really interesting choice. Yeah, I do kind of like it. I mean, you want to... If, if Pac-Man is going to get so much off of the microspacing stuff that, uh, that he likes to employ, then you might as well... You know, throw out a few weapons that are going to eat up every last micro mm -hmm. inch of space. Yeah. Micro inches are not an actual measurement. That's a. That's a yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, well. I use metric terms with inches, and now I just feel like a tool, so. <laughs> oh my, my goodness God. gracious! And Sinji must feel like a fool after that. Frozen. Three to one okay. right now with the Byleth. He has gotten so much off of it, and I also feel like there's a lot more pressure to, like, not play so i feel like violet in a way invalidates a lot of like what pac-man wants to do in like he wants to stay in the corner and be really really far away and violet has like a surprisingly large burst range especially with like side b and neutral b and and those aerials especially so disjointed yeah and even though obviously a lot of her moves take a uh, startup you're not gonna get really any sort of quick get off me option with Byleth, which you might uh, value against Pac-Man, but really that's a, mm -hmm. it all just comes down to your strengths as a player and the values that you hold near and dear. Uh, Frozen has always played a very deliberate Ooh. Palutena, maybe a little bit more deliberation would have been necessary yep. there as he loses the first I stock, but it's, it's something that he'll uh, he'll take. Yeah, for sure. His thought was maybe he was going to like air dodge and try to grab the act of Bell through it, but he air dodge a little bit too early. He was anticipating that the Bell would fall a little bit um, faster than it did. Yeah, but it's uh, it's again what he's trying to do. It's uh, it comes with the territory. Maybe you had a little bit less time than you thought you did when you pre decided to press that button. But nonetheless, yeah, good luck, Ra. Mm -hmm. Good luck trying to land. But uh, when you have a fire hydrant, I guess it's a little easier. And that is a sentence that makes absolutely no sense out of context. I just realized. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is really impressive right now from Frozen, just like to be able to do as much as he's doing on Susinji with such like relatively like new and unexperienced character. Yeah, no, and you're absolutely right. We've seen a little bit of success from Byleth in past. I mean, I believe it was a Byleth that wound up taking one of the Xanadu weeklies over huh. in MDVA. Really? Uh, with uh, I, yeah, Pinkfresh actually. Hmm. Yeah, Pinkfresh uh, took his Xanadu weekly with Byleth and, and uh, Enzo having some success as well in Philadelphia with. Our uh, intrepid three houses star as well. Oh, okay, both of them taking advantage wow. of the trampoline, but Sinji going just a little too high mm -hmm. in the sky, and Frozen no putting the Pac-Man on ice mm -hmm. going up one nil. So something I've noticed, I really like this both adaptation on both players' parts. Sinji put down a hydrant, and normally as Pac-Man you would try to prime the hydrant right by right. hitting it with back air preemptively. Um, and then what Frozen would do is he would hit him all the way across the stage with neutral before it and completely break up everything that Sinji was trying to set up. And so we saw Sinji start throwing out hydrants without priming them, letting Frozen hit them with his neutral B, and then he began to hit it back. That seems to be one of the things that's pre-programmed into, uh, into Smashers. You see the fire hydrant, you hit it. Yeah. And uh, the less I talk about my parking job outside, the better. So as we go to Final <laughs> Destination, game number two, uh, there's very clear, uh, very clear intentions, I think, for Sinji. He wants to take away every last place that you could possibly run, wants to control the negative space and try to mitigate the damage or the potential effectiveness, approach options, really, of uh, Byleth. You, got, you have those weapons. You're going to stand there and try to swing and try to time out my approaches because now it's the impetus. It's a strange... It's a strange thing to be a character like Violet and have to rely on another character to dictate the pacing of the game, but Sinji does that so masterfully at this point with Pac-Man. And this is a really tough... And there you go, he finally is able to grab the belt, this time going for an up air instead of an air dodge. And an air dodge is actually just like a lot more committal in some ways. Um, so 100% right, Sinji's going to be looking for the bell confirms. Yep, just as I say that, able to get the bell into F-Smash. Hey, when you're good, you're good, Dara. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's uh, no need to apologize for that. The Galaxia, I've only just now started calling it the Galaxia. I'm actually proud of myself. Either way, and not Frozen. The, not the, the wacky space invader, uh, the Galaxian. I, I, I've always called it the, the yeah, I've always called it the Galaga. But yeah. it, it is, Galaga's ship is slightly different. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is technically the Galaxia. I will shut up and talk about that sick back air. Mm -hmm. Calling out, like, I believe that was a jump from uh, Sinji from Ledge. Right okay, now, both of them are like playing this really, really patiently. Oh, Sinji tried to grab it one more time, um, though not able to get it. I really like the tether cancel. Nice stuff. Honestly, really good and frozen. I mean, for as new as this character may be, and sometimes you find a character that resonates with you and you want to play it a little bit more in bracket. And well, he got hit the the bell connected still, and the Frozen very, very jumped right into it. it. Just a few more frames of activity than perhaps Frozen was anticipating there, and mm -hmm. now all of a sudden it's Frozen having to uh, atone for his sins there. He's on his last stock. Mm -hmm. And the deficit isn't all that huge. You're able to get an up smash of 62%. Um, I think the adaptation from Sinji and changing his rhythm, such a good weight as he grabbed him. He was waiting for um, the Hydrant wind box just to push them back ever so slightly so that he could... Um, you know, so that he could just get a little bit more mileage with the back throw. Somehow the gigantic spear does not dislodge the fire hydrant. I would have put my money on it doing so. And apparently so did Frozen. Gonna disrupt his, his rhythm just a little bit and trying to catch the get up will not do so successfully. Yeah, that's like the foot. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. What an F smash. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little ridiculous, isn't it? Either so, way, Frozen... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. I just want to quickly mention how... Okay. Ugh. I want to mention how I sketch. love that Frozen went for the charge neutral B and then canceled it with a jump so that he would not let Sinji uh, go with a hydrant, but... Oh, my. You know, you don't need Sora and Smash to see these kills with the key. Mm. My gosh, Sinji. Uh, yeah, Deadly Alliance's uh, very own former PGR man. Uh, kept off of the PGR in controversial fashion, I would yeah. say, Dara. However, proven his worth there in that game number two, and now Frozen is the one on the ropes. Mm -hmm. But we're going to we're going to Kalos, and I find that to be an interesting choice personally because you don't you know that Sinji is going to try to uh, run the clock out on you. Yeah, but no. in this case, I kind of feel like we saw Sinji go in quite a bit. Um, yeah. Like, he sets up Hydra, and now he's starting to, like, you know, play around the platforms and catch uh, Frozen overextending. But, like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, I was about to say inescapable, and just like that, Frozen finds a way out of it, but not before having to hold 45 percentage points worth of damage. Yeah, welcome to Kalos. Really nice neutral air, though unable to find any conversions off of it. I would have expected um, maybe maybe another neutral air. I don't know. I guess my Palutane instinct talking. Oh, wow. Fair enough. Almost getting the command grab, but the Hydrant actually protected Sinji as he was landing. Such an interesting interaction. It's interesting how Sinji will just... He will toy with you so much to the point where you, you just find yourself jumping into charge that smashes. Yeah. It's incredible how he does it. He knows how to set up his win conditions so effectively. And that time, the spear does its job on the fire hydrant. And and it's like just there's basically nothing that Sinji can do when yeah, well, he's just like charging F smash like that. He could also change the angle of it, right, to m maybe modify the angle at which Hydrogen sends you. He has to respect it because if he runs up, he might get hit by the hitbox extension. That's true. We're going to get hit by the bell right upon the apex of its jump, of the bell's jump, the bell's throw arc. Mm -hmm. As Byleth. I mean, again, you're trying to deal with all this uh, negative space that you have to deal with uh, Sinji. Trying to turn this game into a into a bullet hell, it seems like. So that was a really good setup from Sinji, but also I think that was a, even a better reaction from Frozen. So normally when somebody sets up a trampoline at ledge, that is a trap. They, there's basically nothing that you can do. However, as you neutral get up, you can immediately buffer like a wave dash downwards, which should cover it. Though he uh, wave dashed a little bit too late and air dodged out into the blast zone instead. Now Sinji... Yep, right now Sinji is like, he's holding this lead, he's holding this lead really, really well, just sort of with punishing um, Frozen right now. Frozen's now struggling to really get anything started. Yeah, and all of a sudden we're seeing a, whoa, whoa. oh, maybe getting a little too trepidous with the uh, with the way back to the stage. Really nice yeah. back here though, but unfortunately was not a tip, he was spacing a little bit too close. Ooh, trying to call out a jump there, and I can see why, however, 
Uh, Sinji rarely going for the same option twice unless he sees a very good reason to do so. Just not seeing it there, and uh, he definitely knows. It is very, very fun to play as Byleth when you're in advantage. Not so much in disadvantage as Frozen has found out very quickly throughout the proceedings of this uh, of this best of five set. Mm -hmm. Air nice will man. dislodge the fire hydrant, and all of a sudden, Byleth trying to find a way back in. Sinji, uh, I mean, he's he's mixing up his offense to enough of an extent where he's uh, where he's being effective and putting uh, putting Frozen up to 122 percent. But again, sometimes you just get your jump called out, and Byleth does not waste those opportunities. Yep, and Frozen 144 percent definitely does not is not where he wants to be at all. Just about anything at this point can kill him. Since you really smart to continue to play passively, unable to actually get the tech chase. Sinji, you know, even though that he missed that tech, like still really smart, played patiently. He waited, and he neutral got, uh, get up, knowing that there was no way that Byleth could po possibly penetrate that big of a range in such a short place of time. Looking for the back air upon landing. You're not playing Palutena anymore, my guy, and now. All of a sudden, you know what? You didn't. He didn't want to be in the uh, in the 150s. He made his way back to zero, but uh, there's uh, there's some reason for that. Yeah, I think the issue that oh Frozen has to deal with right now is he's tunnel visioned quite a bit to the point where like every time that Sinji has fire hydrant out, his number one priority becomes attacking that. I thought that was a good trampoline for a second. Yeah, I mean it was, and then Frozen hit it, and Sinji was able to create another one. So. Makes you wonder, I mean, how uh, these little Ooh, tiny ba, 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 ba. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Frozen, you know, good for Frozen for having a laugh about that because maybe uh, someone else in his position would have... Uh, cried. <laughs> cried, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, look, I'm not, and I'm not going to judge you for that, but either way, we take a look at he this stuff. He had the right idea, too, yeah. but he initiated a little bit too late, and then he just fell into the blast zone. Yeah, the fast fall. And <laughs> you can see the look on his face. He was not... Necessarily happy with that, but yeah, the uh, the roll of the eyes was. Uh, yeah, that, that says the that says the whole story, doesn't it, Dara? Yeah, you know what? He's gonna be sticking with Byleth, which is actually really commendable. Like not like switching to his tried and true main, like still sticking with Byleth. He really really confident that this character has the sauce, and it's almost like he has something to prove. So especially in the top eight, like it no. is commendable. I, I want to I want to agree with you, Dara, but then again, we are going to Yoshi's story for game number four. Why wouldn't you want to have the Palu uh, broken out on Triplat and you still have the Byleth, which you know can hang with Sinji on the right stages. You know you already yeah. have a roadmap to victory in the right conditions. Yeah, but he lost his counter start... pick advantage as soon as he let Sinji have like that. Uh, get one, as soon as right. game, Sinji won game three, right? Like... Right, right. Well, you're absolutely right about that, but then again, you you can worry about game five when you get there. I mean, you can only cross the bridge once you get to it. So I would say I would have gone with, to the Palutena just to secure that and then make him wonder, okay, am I? is he Whoa. going to counter pick for Violet or is he going to yeah. counter pick for Palui? So maybe a little bit more of a less of a Venn diagram than one might uh, be forced to believe. Okay, that was actually a really funky interaction. The wind box slid, flows, and off of the stage as he was F smashing, and that, like, you know, in ultimate, when you get slid off while doing an attack, um, that turns into a neutral air. Or whatever direction stick you might be holding in the moment. Oh, wow, and able to actually take the first stock, and Frozen has already established that when he is the one to get the percent lead, when he has the stock lead, he is going to hold onto that for quite a long time. You know, I said that I would have gone Palutena, but I'm not the one in top eight. So Frozen is doing him, and he's doing him pretty well. Sinan at 126% has not lost the stock as of yet in this game four. However, the bell in hand has been the bane of Frozen's existence uh, for the better part of these proceedings. Mm -hmm. and now uh, falling Sinji. out of the up air, he was a little bit too far on the left side of it. Does um. not He does not want to try to combat Frozen. Uh, with uh, both feet on level ground, yep, and uh, does so upon the get up with the F smash, and it's gotten a whole lot of mileage off that F smash. But it's never been just uh, standing face to face or whatever. He's gotten cheeky with it, and that's typical Sinji. Yep. Wow. Oh wow. Converting off of his own hit um, in small things to so actually the hydrogen vertical win box, like kind of shooting Sinji up a little bit. Was that interaction only able to take place in the first place? Um, nice down tilt just to stuff out. Like so that interaction I think could have only happened on Yoshi's because he was able to duck under the head of it thanks to the slanted punches. 
So now, as, uh, so now as Sinji trying to make uh, their way back to the back to the middle of the stage, it does so. However, Frozen quickly evicts it. Sorry about that. Bit Beautiful of a cold. Oh, Z down drop smash. Bell. Yep, that was a nice Z drop bell. Like normally, like you see him go for like those really wacky like forward throw angles with it. Um, in this case, just a, like a slight Z drop, catching the fact that Frozen Neutral got up at the same exact time. That is his stock to take. Beautiful forward throw. Yeah got to take him one way or another and just like that we're at a last stock situation however it's a little bit more critical for frozen at this point i would argue but oh my gosh yeah eventually you're going to escape with the jump credit to frozen for hanging on to it for so long similar situation if you remember came up on uh, on final destination you just have to hold that because honestly yep. if you mess up on drift just like once you just have to focus on drifting the right way make sure to do everything really safely do it wrong do, do it wrong just once, that's going to be the stock. You know, that's going to be the game. You don't want to lose your stock like that. Yeah, you got to hang on to every last But I mean, the thing is that we talk about Sinji's patience all the time, but fighting Sinji is the true test of patience, because Sinji, he's used to it. He was born to the... He was born in the darkness, you know? Yeah. He, 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 didn't, he didn't see a sub five minute game until he was already a man, but no, that's... Uh, <laughs> All of a sudden, you're talking about Frozen needing to. Oh, okay, the, that threw option away the coverage key. was ridiculous, and his up B didn't reach. He bounced the key off of the edge of the stage, forced the low recovery, and was still able to cover it with the late hit of back air. That was ridiculous. Thank you for verbalizing that because I wound up speechless at some point. That was beautiful. Yep. Yep. Late hit forces of back the air dodge, and all of a sudden, you are in no man's land. And no matter can, how good yeah. he recovery is, even by look like has one of the most ridiculous like upbeat um, ranges in the game. Yeah, no, absolutely. And